Snowmobile season is just about here and the OFSCA has teamed up with the OPP to encourage you to have a safe ride. First and foremost, safety is, our, is one of the key things that we ask everybody to do on the trails. Whether you're an export rider or a novice, uh, we'd like ev to encourage everybody to be on the trails and be safe while they're operating their snow machine on our trails. Uh, currently, right now in our district, we are packing trails and trying to get all of our machines out. However, uh, at the current moment in time, there is not enough ice over swamps or creeks to actually have perfectly groomed trails and we do not have great snow conditions to do so. Uh, at the moment the ice is too thin to be out on it. Uh, they, uh, they suggest that 10 centimeters of ice is enough to hold a person walking. Uh, 20 centimeters of ice is enough for a uh, snow machine to go on to and 30 centimeters is enough for a uh, light vehicle to drive on the onto the ice. At the present time there's no place in there Prairie Sound area where the ice is thick enough to, uh, to walk on. Things that you should have on you to be safe, uh, what I like to do is I like to have ice picks on me, uh, extra set of gloves, extra hat if possible, socks. Uh, if you do have a luggage compartment, take everything that you would need in the case of an emergency, so a cell phone, uh, hot pads, some type of energy bar, so you, if you are stuck, you still have a source of energy. Um, let everybody know where you're going and uh, I try not to go alone out on the trail, sometimes you have to, but if whenever possible, ride with at least one other person. If anybody out on the snow machines, they need to carry their driver's license, their proof of ownership and insurance. And also the, uh, the trails have speed limits and they are posted and we do have stop officers and OPP officers that patrol the trails and the, the fines that are levied on a trail also apply to their driver's license. So. If uh, a snowmobile is, is uh, charged for impaired operation of a snow machine, that also carries over to his, he will not be able to drive a car as well. And tragically, every year, there's many Canadians that are killed on snow machines. So the OPP would like the, to remind the snowmobilers to drive safely.